Hey YouTube people, you know, we are in a really weird timeline. We used to have to wait 18 months between a Surface Pro device and a lot of times there were relatively very few changes. But somehow over the past few months, Microsoft cannot stop giving us new Surface Pro devices like they're a flavor of the month club. We literally have three current gen Surface Pros to choose from. That's not like last gen and this gen. These are all current devices. I've done videos reviewing each one of these devices on my channel. You may want to check that out. But today I just want to see how hot does each one of these devices get in a heavy load situation. Using a high resolution thermal camera to find the answer. I'm sure all of you are screaming, it's Intel, you idiot. And I don't disagree, but let's follow the science, folks. And don't get me wrong, the Lunar Lake version of the Surface Pro is actually my favorite version of Surface Pro ever. But using my built-in thermal sensors, my finger, it can get quite hot if you push it hard. Without one of my Seabutters Tech performance fans, that is. Store.seabutters.tech but just how hot does each version of the Surface Pro get in the heavy load? So today we have all three variants of the Surface Pro that are current. This is the Intel Business Surface Pro Edition with Lunar Lake. This is the 13 inch Snapdragon uh, 10 core version and the new Surface Pro 12 inch version which has the eight core version of the Snapdragon chip. So we're going to load these up in full full power and see how hot they get. You, and then we'll use a thermal imaging camera to see what's going on. In order to do this, I'm going to throw a heavy loader at each of these using Furmark with both the CPU loader and the GPU loader. The test setup will be as follows. We're going to start from cold, about 31 degrees Celsius. And we're also going to run the test for about 10 minutes at full load and see how quickly they heat up and the highest max temperature they actually hit. Okay, so I have this uh, video all prepared for you to see how things work through this test. Now you can see we've got the Surface Pro 12 inch right here, uh, the Surface Pro 13 with the Snapdragon 10 core right here and the Surface Pro 13 with Intel right here. And um, this is at the beginning of the test. And so if we just scrub through, you can see a couple things that, that are going on. Uh, one of them is uh, the temperature, obviously. So this is the temperature that the camera is pointed at. And then the max temperature is wherever it sees the highest temperature. So here at the beginning of the test, we're about 40 degrees Celsius right here uh, on the Snapdragon. And on the Intel, at the same point of the test, it's already at 44.3 degrees. So the Intel is running much hotter, um, but you can also see how many watts uh, are being pulled right here in this section and the frame rate of the test because we're running both a GPU and a CPU test at the same time to just peg the power consumption on these devices as much as possible. And you can see even at this point in the test, the, the Snapdragon has peaked to 58. Uh, and the Intel where at one point it does, I believe it, it at one point is at 50, but anyways, they settle in really quickly. About four minutes in, you can see that the Surface Pro 12 inch is only running with 22 watts, yet its temperature is already 45 degrees. The 13 inch version is pulling 32 watts and it's about 42 max. Uh, the Intel though is still pulling 44 watts and uh, is at 47.7 degrees Celsius. Now, just to put these temperatures into perspective, here's a little chart. So you can see that once you're up into 45 degrees, that can cause second degree burns if you left it there for a long amount of time. And if you go up to around 50 degrees, uh, you can see that around 50 degrees, within eight minutes, you could get a second degree burn. So um, Microsoft does not let these go much higher than 50 degrees because then it starts to become a hazard. So keep that in mind. So back to our video, uh, you can see that as we, as we scrub through the timeline, uh, things uh, heat up and uh, the Intel at about eight minutes in is already maxed out on its temp. It, it actually starts pulling back and throttling so it doesn't 
you know, hit higher than 50 degrees Celsius. Um, the Surface Pro 12 is at 46, and the Surface Pro 13 is still rising. Uh, it's just using less power, so the, the heat soak is taking longer to, to come in. So if we keep going and, and hit about uh, at, at about 10 minutes. So at 10 minutes in, we've kind of reached our peak temperatures. Uh, they're not going to get much higher after this. They, we've seen them kind of even out at this level. So the Intel definitely uh, is the hottest at 50 degrees Celsius. It's also pulling about 40 watts here, so it's understandable that it's the most hot. It also is uh, performing the best in this particular test. It's pulling uh, 31 frames per second in this test, where the rest of these are at 11, and the 12-inch Surface Pro is only doing 5 frames a second, just really not great performance. So 5 frames a second while pulling 20 watts and getting pretty hot. The 13-inch with the fan in Snapdragon only pulling 34 watts, but only getting 11 frames per second, and it's the coolest at 44.9 degrees Celsius as the max temp. So uh, there are some real differences in these devices and um, pretty cool to see. In fact, here is the full uh, time-lapse uh, going at a, you know, to fit within 30 seconds. So you can see what's happening in semi real time, sped up real time. Um, kind of cool to see with that high resolution thermal camera. Okay, so here we are on the front side of the devices, and we're using our, our cool little uh, thermal camera here, uh, high resolution, and one of the interesting things on the front, if you look at the like LCD itself, the max temperature here on the Intel one is about 44, and on the Snapdragon, much cooler. This is not the OLED, this is the LCD. Um, and it probably depends what color I'm running on the, on the OLED screen. But uh, anyways, the, the very unique uh, thing that I'm seeing is we're, we're seeing very high temperatures on the front side of the LCD uh, on the 12 inch that does not have a fan. In fact, a lot of heat back here, 46 degrees Celsius, where on... The 13 inch with the fan, it's only 36. So that is that is a big difference. And the heat is showing, but it's showing up on the frame here, and that's from the backside kind of creeping over a little bit. But let's look at the back of these devices too. And they've been running a stress test for a minute here. Uh, here's the Intel close to. You know, it's peaking at 50 degrees. And if I put my hand on that, that feels uh, semi-uncomfortable. You know, I, I could leave it there, but it feels like, you know, you're doing dishes and you're at the very edge of what you can hold on to that hot plate, right? Uh, the Snapdragon 1 over here, uh, 45 is the hottest, but the 13-inch Snapdragon with the fan, this feels hot but you know easily bearable over here and our 12 inch is funny because over here it's quite cool you know right here it's really cool but you put your hand just in the right spot and it is quite hot so it's producing less heat but that concentrated heat without the fan to move it away is really putting a lot of uh, heat just in one spot so really interesting, the different setups, Snapdragon 13 inch, the Intel, and the 12 inch Surface Pro 12. Let's check on that front just, just really quick here. Again, the hot spot on the LCD is 48 degrees. And on the Snapdragon 13, really cool, 41 maybe. And the Intel, I guess it is getting 40 degrees, but it's more on the frame than the LCD. The LCD is pretty cool everywhere else. And so if we just look at that further back, there's a lot of heat coming through on that 12 inch. Where on the Intel, there's a lot of heat, but it's a little bit more spread out. So anyways, interesting stuff. So I hope that was an interesting look into how the different flavors of Surface Pro 
uh, handle heat and load. I never want my content on this channel to feel like an infomercial. Wow. Uh, so if if you're not interested in my fans and how they will affect the temperatures of these devices, that's what I'm going to be showing in the next section. If you're not interested in my fans, don't keep watching, you know, go move on, whatever, watch some of my other videos, other content. But if you're interested in my fans, which you can get in my store, I'm going to show you how many degrees you can shave off of these devices by using these. So let's take a look at that. So after running that stress test for 10 minutes, we put the surface fan on the back and you can see what's happening here. Uh, we do get some cooling off pretty quickly. In fact, you see the green returning to the Surface Pro 12 on the edges and the Surface Pro 13 because it's just getting that cold. Um, but in general, we're seeing about a five degree Celsius drop across all of those. The Surface Pro 13 Intel that used to be at 50 degrees is now at 45. The 13 inch Snapdragon went from 45 to about 41 degrees Celsius. And the 12 inch Snapdragon went from 47 degrees to 42. Across the board, this is about a four to five degrees Celsius degree reduction. And they feel quite comfortable touching the backs when you're using the fan. Pretty effective. But now I guess it's just time for the just one more thing moment. For the eagle eye of you, you notice that there is a new color of Surface Pro Fan. Uh, this is the Ocean Surface Fan from Sea Butters Tech, and it is specifically built for the 12 inch Surface Pro. It has a little bit different dimensions, so the dimensionality had to change for it to fit flush on the back of the Surface Pro 12. So if you're interested in picking one of these up for your Surface Pro 12 inch to keep it cool, uh, make sure you order the ocean color because that's the one that's going to fit. Now, I promised you earlier in the video that I would show you a way to get discounts on my Surface products. And I'm going to do that now because it's in combination with another announcement. And that announcement is I'm going to be offering memberships on the channel. I rarely talk about my life and my occupation and my job. This channel has always been something of a hobby side project that I just have done for fun because I've seen needs or information that I wanted and then I've decided it to share with you my audience. A lot has changed in my personal life. I actually uh, have left the job that I worked at for 16 years. Believe it or not, my degree is in accounting. I'm I'm somewhat of an, an accountant, you know, but my love has always been tech. I have worked in the tech industry in terms of journalism, but also as systems administrator uh, for, for several different companies, IT directors, things like that. And I've now left uh, the, the company that I worked for for 16 years, and I'm trying to push harder on this channel and make it be a higher quality and better edited than, than what I've been able to do in the past with my time constraints. So I'm excited to actually push my production values and work harder on that. Uh, so my videos are more engaging. Most of my subscribers are here for the information I have, not because they enjoy the way I edit or the way I look or the, how funny I am. But I am offering two different tiers of membership. And uh, the membership tiers are going to be bits and bytes because this is Sea Butters Tech. And with the bits tier, uh, it's just the basic membership. You want to support the channel at a little bit lower cost, really low barrier to entry. And the bytes is a, you know, a little bit higher, still very affordable. I'm not trying to go crazy with these things, but the bytes tier membership will get you a 20% discount on any C butters tech product. So if you want, um, uh, external GPU enclosure, you want a surface fan. If you're a member of my bytes tier, you will more than save that uh, by purchasing a fan or enclosure than you would if you hadn't have subscribed to the channel in the first place. So that's what I'm offering. Get 20% discount on any of my products on my store by becoming a member of the channel. So I, you guys know me, I, I rarely push things like this, um, but I, if you've enjoyed the content that I've created, uh, dating back all the way to the, the Surface Pro 3 back in the day, I've been going at it that long, providing what I 
consider unique and valuable information to the Surface community and the tech community in general because I cover everything, not just Surfaces. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of this community. Uh, if you have any suggestions or comments for me, I'd love to hear it in the description or reach out to me personally. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.